In this video, I would like to give you a brief introduction to the Nmap box. You've already learned how to install this free and open source QGIS plugin that has been developed to visualize and process imaging spectroscopy data as expected from the upcoming Nmap satellite mission. You can start the Nmap box from an opened QGIS project by either clicking on the Nmap box icon in the QGIS plugin toolbar or from the menu bar under Raster and Map Box. The graphical user interface provides main access to all features and lets you manage and visualize raster and vector data as well as spectral libraries. On the top, you will find the main menu bar. There are three different panels on the left hand side the data source, the data view, and the spectral profiles source panel. In the center, the data view is located where you can visualize your data and at the right-hand side is the processing toolbox. If you close one of those panels by mistake, you can always bring them back by selecting View at the main menu bar and then Panels. The visualization of data is realized using so-called map views. The data will be first loaded into the data source panel. In this example, I load a hyperspectral image into the Nmap box that is stored locally on my machine. In case you don't have your own hyperspectral data set available, we have also learned in the Nmap box installation video that the Nmap box provides a test data set that can be loaded from the main menu bar tab project and then load example data. To visualize the imaging spectroscopy data set, you must open a new map view. The new map view will open in the center of the graphical user interface and will also be shown in the data view panel at the left hand side. Per simple drag and drop into the empty map view, you can now visualize your data set. At the same time, the image will be listed in the data view panel too. In the toolbar, you can find common tools to navigate in your visualized image, such as pan, zoom in, and zoom out. Please note that you can equally use your mouse wheel for easy navigation. To visualize the hyperspectral image using the red, green, and blue, the RGB color values, you select your image in the Data View panel, right click, and choose Layer Properties. In the menu item, Symbology, make sure Multi Band Color is selected, and then choose the three bands that shall be visualized in the RGB color space. In this case, I would like to visualize my high map image as false color representation. I choose the bands that represent the correct wavelength regions, adjust the min max value settings, and confirm with Apply. You want to know an easier way? Here you go. The Nmap box also provides an easy and user-friendly way to visualize your image in true color or another visualization directly from the data source panel. For better demonstration, I'm closing the map view first. You then select your image, right click, go to open in new map, and choose the RGB visualization you want. Nmap box provides two options to get pixel-based information. First, you should activate the Identify Map tool and the Location Value option. If you now click on a pixel, the pixel values will be shown in the Cursor Locations Value panel on the left-hand side. Second, you could further activate the Pixel Profile option to represent the pixel information as spectral profiles. Once you click on a pixel, a spectral library window opens. That also appears in the Data View panel. A spectral library viewer visualizes spectral profiles of a selected image pixel. In the map view, several data sets can be arranged. In addition to raster data format, this also includes vector data and spectral libraries. As example, now I am loading a polygon vector data set in the geo package format into my data source panel and dragging and dropping into my currently open map view. It will be visualized and listed in the data view panel. I could change the representation of the vector layer using its layer properties menu. To analyze remote sensing data, it is often necessary to not only visualize different data sets on top of each other, but rather spatially link them in a side-by-side -side representation. As an example, I will now open another map view where I decide to visualize my hyperspectral image differently, in this case as a true color image. It will be opened in a second map view in the center of my graphical user interface and listed in the data view panel too. You could open as many map views as you want, as well as arrange them vertically or horizontally according to your needs. To spatially link both images, you can use the Link with Other Maps functionality. 
Three options are available. One, link map scale and center. Two, link map scale. And three, link map center. I will select the first option. This completes my brief introduction to the Nmap box.